All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to Tech Chase Week Five. We are back on Stream Two here, and we got another action-packed uh, crew battle for you. Here we got Ferris Esports versus Oakland University, and I am joined Should here be by my co-commentator, <laughs> Mr. Beb. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, dude? Uh, super nice to be able to finally commentate with you. It seems like you're always in the background of Stream 2, but you never get the chance to commentate. So this is exciting hearing the hearing the man behind the stream here on Tech Chase GG. Um, should be an interesting matchup here, though, like you alluded to earlier. Uh, Ferris versus Oakland. Oh, both of these teams coming off of a loss tonight at Week 5, hoping to get a little bit of revenge possibly on their prior losses um here we see ferris um trying to pick up a win finally sitting at O and uh <clears> oh <throat> and nine right now unfortunately and oakland sitting at five and four after dropping to msu in the last match on the aura gaming esports stream yeah so i mean obviously like you said both teams coming off a loss here um and Ferris really looking to get that first win here of the season. Uh, obviously, that all-important first win. Um, and yeah, I mean, their last match was actually a very, very close one against the last team we saw on stream here, CUAA. They only missed it by one stock. So Yeah, so hopefully hopefully they can play with some of that passion that they we saw in their game one against CUAA, where they took CUAA down to the line our third ranked team, I believe, um, being able to go head to head with them uh, bodes well for their mat, their their uh, their chances of maybe tearing down Oakland a slot here. Yeah, I think with how things panned out tonight, Oakland and CUAA are now tied for fourth right now. If I'm correct, no, it's CUAA played both their matches, so they're six and four now so actually yeah so oakland would be in fourth place right now so um yeah sorry i'm trying to do mental math <laughs> you're, i was you're never good, any good. good at it so it's that <laughs> <laughs> you can hear the gears grinding but the moral of the story though uh cua and oakland very evenly matched when it comes to stats and if ferris had a good shot took cua down to the wire what does that mean for Oakland's chances right now? I mean, I, I, Oakland obviously looks a very talented team. They've been they were tied with third coming into the night. Um, so a lot of talented players. So I mean, this is really going to be. I think this is going to be a close match. I really do. I think both these teams are very motivated to win right now, uh, and I think you know there's a lot of talent on both these rosters. So I think we're gonna we're in for a very close match tonight. If I if I had to make an assumption. <laughs> I'm definitely hoping for it. And here we see Kyle and Meta starting out for Ferris and Oakland, respectively. Kyle with the Kirby, like we've seen in prior weeks, and Meta with the Shulk. Um, Meta, I've seen go on a few tears uh, throughout the few weeks, but especially in week, I think it was two, he went on a really good tear. Um, he is the substitute, I believe, for Team Oakland. But he doesn't play like one, for sure. Yeah, Meta is the substitute, but a very talented player. And, and yeah, he did really go on a terror a few weeks back. I remember it specifically against CUAA, actually, uh, where he took down, like, two entire players just tearing through them. A very talented Shulk player. Uh, and as you can see right now, doing some good damage. But honestly, it's still very, very close. This is a, this is a really interesting matchup. Um, purely because of one little, like, niche thing. Kirby with the, um, with the copy ability, copying Monados as Kirby is insane. Some of, like, jump Kirby, specifically, is crazy with as many jumps as Kirby has. So I'd like to see Kyle maybe utilize that, but it doesn't look like he's gone for too many, um, command grabs with the copy suck ability um, but there we see smash back air going to take it for meta 96 percent kirby has some kill power on the ground specifically 
So uh, if we see a smash attack coming out, maybe an up smash, a really strong up smash coming out, um, we could see uh, this stock kind of disappear for meta, but hopefully he gets a little bit of this extra credit action. Yeah, he's definitely looking for it, but uh, Cole doing a good job of not giving much of an opportunity. Uh, just playing some very good neutral, playing defense and keeping away from Shulk and looking for that opening. Not quite finding it yet, but being patient, like I said, and uh, we'll see if he's able to even this up. Maybe to a fault. I did see a parry there where it seemed like Kyle just wasn't ready to react to it, and he just kind of retreated it to the ledge after getting a parry. You gotta, you gotta hone in on those situations and get punishes like that if you're gonna get the parry, possibly an accidental one, but uh, still looking for this kill. Obviously, he's not gonna get it while Shulk is in shield. Oh, getting a little sketchy there, even for Kirby's uh, recovery. Managing to get back to stage, though. Uh, but, yeah, now Shulk is just starting to whittle damage down on the Cole here. Uh, so Cole is really going to need to find it. But, oh, losing the second stock, actually. Not able to close and dropping, out yet. Yeah, dropping that shield into the strong hit of forward smash. Going to kill Kirby very early, like we just saw. Yeah, the downside of Kirby, uh, that what makes his recovery so well is that he's such a light character, which then also, well... Makes him early, Kills yeah. him earlier. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, still looking to finish this kill there. Cole's got to find this opening. Get that kill move in. Uh, but just not quite having luck yet. Yeah, it looks like it has been all meta this game thus far. Almost suffering a uh, suck there, but uh, not going to connect. We haven't seen Kirby get Monado arts. Yes, oh. and that's really big in this matchup. Smash attack engage, smash engage, forward air going to do it. A three stock victory going into this against FSU and Kyle. Very good stuff from Meta thus far. Yeah, Meta looking really good, and Cole just un unfortunately not able to find uh, kind of the you know any kill moves there, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, it was other than that looking looked pretty good, but. Yeah, Meta able to find those kill confirms uh, and does take it in a three-stock fashion. Yeah, it was really unfortunate because it was a very even game like we were talking about early on with that first stock. And it seemed like it was just all downhill once, once Meta was able to take that first stock and then continue to roll. And it seemed like Kyle was just stuck on level one every, every single stock trying to finish off that stock. And eventually that... that does, you know, whether whether or not um, mindset kind of falters at that time, or you just don't have an answer, it's always a rough spot to be in. So FSU, um, Kyle, unfortunately going to fall in that game. Um, let's see who FSU sends out next. Yeah, I mean, on that kind of match, another thing, like, I remember particularly last time Meta went on a tear against somebody um, is noted, like, yeah, most people don't actually practice for Shulk because there's not a lot of Shulk flares. And it's an MU a lot of people kind of miss. Um, I mean, I don't even remember. I can't even He's remember such a dangerous played character. Shulk. <laughs> I don't even remember. So, I mean, that's another thing that could have played into that. It's just, you know, sometimes that matchup can just be a little bit weird. Uh, but we are going to see Nylos come in with Joker. Uh, he'd be a bit of a ma better matchup in this area. I say it every time I'm here, and I'm here fairly often, but uh, Joker is one of the only characters that really, really benefits, not really, really, it's only slightly, but benefits slightly from the uh, the 30 seconds delay. Yeah, uh, you can jerk with that the, set. yeah. <laughs> yeah, now that I'm looking at it and actually counting up and seeing like how much it actually charges up, I'm not even, I like, I never actually looked to see how much it charges up. I just knew it did. And it's kind of funny. There's, there's not, there's not a lot of charge there just happening automatically. No, it's not really enough to like break anything, luckily. <laughs> yeah, um, for sure. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it definitely, you know, does give a bit of an advantage in that scenario. Uh, but there's really not any way. Oh, we're getting some lag here. Um, yeah, it was noticeable during when they started as well. Unfortunate. So hopefully that doesn't continue. Maybe a bad connection between the players. I'm hoping not. Um, 
we will see here. As, yeah, it's continuing <laughs> here. Oh my god. I gotta say, I gotta say that, uh, Shult gets a lot more off of lag than, uh, Joker does, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, definitely so. Um, but wow, oh my gosh. This is getting a little, a little out of hand here, but, uh, can we get a, you know, just a F the chat for Nintendo Online? Um, <laughs> It's it's uh, checking to see if we're running R Windows 95. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's running like it's running on Windows 95, so I can only <laughs> assume that it may have found something. Um, but yeah, we are talking about Smash Brothers right now. Um, looks like uh, there we find Meta finds the kill that first stock. There wasn't a ton happening during that last 30 seconds. It was it was just this one stock, so nothing too explosive has gone on. Um, let's see what these players do to answer back. Yeah, and it seems it seems to be running a lot better now, so hopefully that moment has passed. But yeah, now we're seeing them get back at each other. Uh, and Nilo's just looking for a kill here. Uh, got him in 100% here, so definitely within kill percent for Joker. Yeah, and Joker's doing such a good job right now of putting in the good damage. So once he does get Arsene, which will be very soon, um, hopefully that can lead into, you know, a dash attack kill, a back air kill, uh, just just a litany of options for uh, Joker to secure this kill right here. Just got to not get too crazy. And Makarakarn does take it there. The counter, um, very strong, especially against such a limited uh, horizontal mix-up recovery as Shulk. He kind of has to up B where you know he has to up B, and he hopes the, the actual um, hit of the up special actually kind of puts him safer, but here counters working wonders for that situation if you are Nylos here. Yeah, and you know, Nylos finally finding that kill on Shulk, proving that meta is not immortal, getting that kill, and now, you know, the cat's out the bag. Let's see if they're able to capitalize it, move on from it, uh, and get something rolling. Yeah, risky uh, forward smash there. Looks like meta is kind of getting a little bit uh, presumptuous, I might say. And maybe Nilo is making him pay a little bit, getting back into this. Yeah, I mean, very close right now. Both players within kill kill percent. Uh, we see the Arsen come out for Joker, so uh, definitely looking to capitalize on that kill now. Yeah, one of the things that, uh, you know, Smash, Smash Monado is nice to be in. Smash Art is nice to be in, oh. except when you get hit. Um, that's something that, <laughs> that meta has to be dangerous, has to be careful of. But there we go, securing the kill. Um, lots of nair is coming out, looking like Palutena. <laughs> a little bit of nair spam and keeping Nylos away from him. Uh, it seemed to work, uh, but Nylos finally able to get somewhere. Uh, but not quite able to kill there. And Shulk gets 150%. Honestly, there it is. Finally able to blast him out that top uh, kill zone. Ooh, and he connected wow. the charge F pad. Wow. That, that was a very fast death. Uh, as uh, Meta comes out with a purpose and just completely obliterates Nylos there. Yeah, and that is that is six stocks for Meta thus far, starting it off. For Team Oakland, very strong. Um, that's something you got to watch out for with smash art being a thing that you can turn on and turn off really quickly if you're smart about it um if you get too greedy with your recoveries like we saw nylos do uh and you get punished big for it um you're gonna die really really early um and meta really putting in the work today for team oakland yeah like we said meta obviously has you know gone on a couple tears in this this league so far um, a very talented player, and uh, really just uh, showing why right there, as he takes six stocks. I mean, at this point, you you got to be pretty happy with yourself, and now you're you know anything else you get, that's just a bonus. It was a bonus after the first game. Let's be <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> I mean, he's, technically uh, by he's the numbers, up the yeah, yeah. I mean, after you get three stocks, you're technically you've done your part, and anything beyond that is. A bonus so yeah I mean definitely looking really good here but 
It looks like we'll be seeing a mist coming out from Ferris. Yeah, let's see if mist can kind of put some water on the fire for Team FSU and maybe get this get this uh, this crew battle a little bit more manageable for us. Yeah, definitely gonna need to definitely a long road to a victory here for MSU or FSU, uh, but still very doable. I mean, it, it starts here, but uh, I think they still got a very good shot at it. Look at that dog waiting patiently. What a, what good, a good dog. What a good boy. <laughs> uh, but here we see getting right into it as uh, both players looking to find their opening strikes. Duck Hunt getting a, a couple little Duck Hunt setups going there. Down smash at the ledge. Catches Shulk. Going to do a lot more damage when Shulk is stuck in Buster. While he does more damage, he also takes more damage. Um, and that's going to be something good for Mist if he can get some damage in here right now. Very even, 50% for both these players. Yeah, and honestly, Mist looking really good right now. Uh, playing very patiently and just waiting for these opportunities. If there's, if there's solace for being Team FSU right now, it's being able to clean up this game and and not lose a stock that that will be a great start if you are elite mist right now being able to clean up this map this stock first yeah obviously easier said than done and as you uh, make that declaration uh meta finds another yeah i kind of i kind of jinx that i take full responsibility for that stock loss for team F fsu i apologize um, but here curse. we see <laughs> elite mist with no apologies uh, catching the shield with the Nair, double Nair, going to be some easy damage there. But 140% uh, on meta, what is it going to take for Elite Mist to be able to finish off the stock? Yeah, I mean, he's going to need to find something big here. Um, and I mean, we've already seen meta make it up to as high as 200%, so obviously some survivability there. Um, and yeah, going to need to find something fast, uh, or we may be seeing another lost stock here for Mist. And as yeah, I and say that, oh, smashes air, forward air, going to connect. Wow, that I don't know if that was like DI messed up or something, but uh, he died. And there is Meta finally falling to the back air on Elite Mist's final stock. That was seven, eight stocks for Meta. Yes, yeah, so that was eight stocks taken by Meta there. Wow. Great performance for Meta. Hopefully, Oakland uh, um, feeling like they can they can are in a good spot. Hopefully, they don't get complacent though, because Elite Mist has one stock left, and uh, Ferris has a couple more uh, couple more guys to uh, fill in the spots. So, one one more. Um, it's so they got through. They got four stocks here. Let's see what they can do with them. Yeah, I mean, obviously, we've seen crazier things. So definitely still a winnable thing or winnable. A match for FSU here um, but let's see who Oakland decides to send in next they have a couple options that I think could work well for them here um, <clears throat> one of them that kind of springs to mind right now uh, Saturn with the Lucas I uh, I believe has uh, has the potential to possibly finish this off if given the opportunity um, Verbal nerfer with the Ken. Ken can be so dangerous in situations like that because once you once you start losing, it can feel really, really bad to lose another stock at 40, 50 percent. Um, so you got to be really careful against the Ken. Brawly and Spectral, the names speak for themselves. They're great players on Team Oakland. So it's going to be interesting who they uh, send in. Yeah, for sure. And we'll see here in a second who is the chosen one. I bet you it'll be uh, Keaton. Keaton. <laughs> I actually do not know who is playing the Falcon. It looks like somebody uh, somebody's feeling themselves on Team Oakland right now, though. I mean, I'll never complain about seeing Falcon. That's a character you don't get to see too much. Uh, definitely fun to watch. Um, 
think we're gonna get some clairvoyance of who it is. I think it's Worm. So Ken and Captain Falcon, those seem like two characters that somebody would play. You know what I mean? Like those two characters kind of go together. It is Werble Nerfer. Let's go. Yep, we're gonna we're looking at Werble Nerfer. Uh, for wrong, somebody can correct us. Uh, but that's that's our you know that's what we're going with and we're sticking to it. That's the story. We're sticking to it. Yep. Yeah, um, right. And there, the night thirty seconds do expire. Uh, Eliteness going to try and wall Captain Falcon out. No reflector on Captain Falcon. Uh, not a very good initial dash speed. Um, so it can be kind of hard getting stuck in shield and then trying to like dash away. Uh, that can be really dangerous spot to be in if you're in disadvantage as Captain Falcon. Falcon. Obviously, Falcon's advantage state speaks for itself. It's called knee. It's, it's called, called win neutral <laughs> and then hit him with the knee. <laughs> Definitely for sure. But uh, so far, honestly, Duck Hunt coming out very aggressive right now. Oh! And missed. The clay pigeon loops. You are talking about worm feeling himself, but man, Emmett missed right now is definitely feeling himself. Absolutely. Already uh, some great damage coming in. 142%. <laughs> oh, he hits himself with the cam. Unfortunate. Still a nice lead going on here and looking to at least take one here. Uh, but... Oh! He, the got the, he got the jump read into the knee. The he knee. heard me and he answered back. Wow. Yeah, able to take that there. Uh, and now we're sitting Without a... losing a stock, he was, he was, he was down by a good margin, but Elite Mist was unable to find the kill, and, you know, Falcon's gonna punish you for that. If you let Fel Falcon gain some rage, he's just gonna kill you that much earlier. Yeah, honestly, I, I feel a bit robbed right now. Uh, honestly, I, I, I kind of wish that uh, Mist had a few more stocks to play with there, because that, that was looking like a really entertaining set. No, Absolutely. He, he seemed to have some of the cool setups. I know we saw the uh, the loops with the clay pigeon getting a little bit. I thought that got nerfed to oblivion. I didn't know that still worked. So it was really surprising him throwing that out there. Good, good stuff from him. Um, so it looks like we are down to either Jeremy or Maximus on Team Ferris. I'm thinking probably going to go with the Jeremy call right now but uh we'll you see what happens would be correct we are gonna see jeremy no maximus tonight uh, he's cheering in the crowd right now uh but yeah i do believe i do believe he played in his match against cuaa uh, i think he took like three or four stocks so uh did he possibly okay. a good performance from maximus on his tech chase weekly week five uh kind of kind of um his first night yeah, obviously, um, he's one of the players that was subbed in at the halfway point here where you're allowed to make roster changes, and he became the new sub for FSU. But we are going to get right into this. Uh, we're going to see Jeremy going up against Caden. Or, I'm sorry, Werble Nerfle. Caden. Mm. Caden. I mean, I'm not wrong, I'm just not 100% you're not. right. <laughs> Wait for this timer to draw down here as both players do their calisthenics beforehand, stretching out, getting ready for that fight. Got to be loose and limber. Exactly. Both these characters, both these characters, kind of contort their bodies in strange ways, so it it really makes sense. Well, I mean, Captain Falcon didn't wear that type of an outfit not to like extend the, you know, his legs. <laughs> he just, he just yeah. didn't. It's breathable leather. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, as we're getting into it, looks pretty even so far. Uh, Jeremy, as we've said before, a very talented player from FSU here. Uh, playing the anchor position. A uh, lot of work to do for Jeremy right now, but definitely possible. Yeah, and already a very good start against Werble Nerfers, Captain Falcon. We saw Elite Miss get a good start. Hopefully that the, the history doesn't repeat itself here. Uh, and we see Jeremy be able to finish off Werble Nerfer and oh. take the stock at least. Ooh, doesn't get the tack there. Not going to get punished for it either. Yeah, look how real scary right there for Wolf. <laughs> Able to get back to stage though, but that time you saw he just got back there quick. He wanted none of that. Uh, we do see the Ooh, first stock. Good parry up smash. 
So, uh, first step on the mountain has been climbed. I played against Jeremy this weekend in an open arena on a stream. Um, one, he beat me uh, pretty profusely, but also he really likes that parry up smash. So watch out for that. If you're if you're playing against Jeremy or while you're watching right now, um, definitely a move he likes to employ. Good stuff with the parries from Jeremy. For sure. He did just lose his dock there, so we're back to even here. Uh, but uh, putting on some extra damage. Like I said, there is quite the mountain that has to be climbed here, so uh, definitely going to be looking to not lose any more stocks right now after Jeremy, because uh, he does have two more players to go through. It's free. It's free. <laughs> <laughs> with the back air, Jeremy saying it himself. Ooh, almost gets the edge guard with the knee, with the uh, nair there. Ooh, Falcon gets the down air. This isn't melee, though. He doesn't get the knee off of that. Does get it there though, and now Jeremy almost up to 100% here. Oh no! Needs to find a kill. Werbel Nerfer is trying really hard. Misses the up smash off of the parry. Oh. He tries for it. Four tilt gets the edge guard. Nairs down. Bad spot to be in if you're Falcon. Oh! Takes it back to stage. Oh! And Jeremy goes flying off the stage there. And now down to his last stock here. Down to Ferris's last stock. As. I Herbal. Yeah, it looks, it looks like Jeremy's really struggling to find this kill, but the Nair finally finds it. Just needs to take this stock if he wants to stay in this for Team Ferris. Werbel Nerfler obviously wants to hit some crazy clips right now. Yeah, he's definitely looking to close this out, finish it off for his team. Uh, but Jeremy fighting for his team's life here. Ooh, good Not down smash. Off stage against Werbel Nerfer. Sounds kind of dangerous. Sounds kind of spooky. Watch out for that knee. Um, <laughs> but we do see him make it back. Uh, 102 damage. No, 109 now. On to Werb. As Jeremy looking to finish him off. But oh no. What? I'm not that was sure. A, that was a nuts interaction obviously falcon's down air is kind of ridiculous hitting underneath the stage like that it looked like jeremy had the counter play coming in from that angle but it didn't seem like it, it, it wasn't enough and uh jeremy is going to be falling to werbel nerfers uh captain falcon uh that is fsu falling 7-0 to oakland yeah same scoreline as the last or was that the last game we had, or was that the stream one match? I'm trying to think here. I think yeah. I think that was, that was yeah. That was that was the last game that we had. Yeah, but onto that last you know kill there, I think Jeremy actually had him off screen. Uh, he just died first, so I think that would have killed, but it came down to timing there. And, oh, they uh, kind of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> yeah, um, kind of like you see sometimes, but it you know it does come down to who dies first and. Um, Falcon. Unfortunately, yeah. that was Jeremy. It was as Falcon that Falcon kick just uh, sends him to his demise. But um, so good things coming out of both teams there. Uh, but Oakland is gonna take the win here. And uh, that does wrap up, I believe, our Week Five Tech Chase Major League. Do we have any of the other streams going on right now? Yeah, so stream three should still be going on uh, if you guys want to tune in there. Uh, stream one only has the two matches a week, so they are done for the night. But there should still be a match going on on stream three. Uh, if you want to check out Kettering versus MSU, uh, good match to be had. Uh, so make sure to make your way over there. Uh, but otherwise, you know, good game to both teams. Um, great to see them both competing here um, as Oakland finds their sixth win of the season our seventh win i think it's their seventh win of the season uh and ferris will still be looking for that win uh but you know there's there's still plenty of season here left so i mean there's uh we'll be i think we'll be seeing some wins out of ferris yet coming up i definitely hope so um a lot of lot of very very young new team and i'm hoping they find their footing and uh 
make this a great Tech Chase Major League uh, to start out for Ferris, and I hope we see good things in the future. Yeah, for sure. Um, same uh, same sentiments from me. So, uh, with that, I think we're gonna we're gonna end this stream off here. Uh, we highly recommend you head over to Tech Chase GG Two. I will put that link in the comments for you guys. Um, but otherwise, yeah. Um, thank you for tuning in tonight, and uh, we will see you guys next week. See you later.